Master Ken here with another secret street fighting tip. As you can see, Todd is injured. He didn't even do it in the dojo. He's ice skating or something. This is why I always advise that my students only get injured in a controlled environment, because at least if another student or myself injures them, then I can remember what I did right. This is why I discourage all athletic activity outside the dojo in the first place. So I guess all we can do at this point is train on how to defend against somebody who is on crutches. Remember, just because someone is injured doesn't mean they can't be a criminal, okay? So let's say that this uh, hobbling hobo comes up and gets in my grill, okay? So because he's gonna be putting his weight and his hands down on the crutches, he's not gonna be able to defend himself, okay? They're gonna stun him with a back fist. Then I'm gonna scoop this out and do a move I call the penis pendulum, okay? right in the groin. Then it's gonna put him off balance. I'm gonna set him down here. I'm gonna choke him against his crutch here till he's nice and stunned from the lack of oxygen. I'm gonna take the crutch away. I'm gonna finish him with what I call a crutch kick. Looks like this. Now, Master Ken, there's another secret street fighting tip. Restomp the groin. <laughs> I'm Master Ken. Get your black belt bag at blackbeltbags.com. A bag made for martial artists by martial artists. Deadly weapons not included.